Okay, this video is probably going to make a couple of people angry. So if you're offended in any way by Briar model horses being used for something other than model horses, you don't want to watch today's video. Trust me. Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome! So I have a super fun project for you guys today. Ever since I found something similar to this on Pinterest and then I went to their Etsy stores and looked at them, this was the coolest piece of horse related artwork that I could find. And I wanted to share with you today how you too can make your own briar wall art. See what's up above my head? Those are some briar models that I turned into a piece of art. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make it. If you guys love briar horses, you're gonna be really mad at me. This model is my first victim of making a briar wall rack. Okay, here we go. If you've always wondered what the inside of a briar looks like, that's it. There's our little briar. Sorry. Not that magical on the inside. Just looks like plastic. We want to keep them relatively the same, so I got to keep to so I have to start the cut and keep it similar to this guy on this guy. Here I go again. I had the horses all cut in half then it was time to add some spray paint and I just chose to use white spray paint for my models and when I was painting them I did lots of little coats and it took me probably an afternoon to let the coats of paint dry in between and then I let them dry overnight so that they would be nice and dry before I attached them to the piece of wood and these are the models when they're all dry and ready to be put on the piece of wood. I also used a hot glue gun, a piece of wood that I had stained, a knife, some dry foam. This will go inside the horses. And then this is Gorilla Glue glue sticks. The reason I'm using the foam is to have a larger surface area that the glue will actually attach the horse to the board. And the dry foam works really well because you can cut it easily and then you can kind of push it into the model and then trim off any excess. And 
and you just repeat the process with each of the models, no matter how many you're using for your board. Once I have the foam inserted, then I'm just kind of playing with the models themselves to find how I want them to be on the board once they're all attached. And then I just use my glue gun and attach the horses to the board. And they're all finished. That was an easy project. And these are the horses attached to the board. They're all ready for me to hang up wherever I want to. That's for you, Henry. So that was a pretty fun project, I think. I'm very happy with the results and I know I probably upset some of you because I cut briar models. Sorry, but I had to do it. I just had to. They were there. I had to do it. Hopefully, this is something that you've thought about, you've seen, or you would like to try. It was really fun to make, and I think it looks pretty cool up on the wall. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture at the end of this video and you'll never miss another video and you'll get tons of different DIY ideas and horse tips so you can make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.